Hi guys, Atom here from Automate the Planet. In this video, I will explain how to use the composite design pattern in automated tests to make your test more readable and easier to write. I wrote a detailed article about it, so I recommend to check it after watching the video. There is a link at the bottom of the article where you can download um, the source code that I will demonstrate. Now let's review what problem we have and then try to solve it. Imagine that we have this online web shop and where we sell rockets. And uh, in the previous examples, I showed you that um, in the previous videos, we created uh, automated tests for automating the creating of a purchase. However, today we want to use the same solution that I will uh, present and review in a bit. Uh, we want to use the same solution for checking whether particular elements follow um, particular styles, CSS styles. For example, imagine that we have these uh, requirements about how the different up to cart buttons should look like. For example, what font, what font size, uh, font weight, uh, how high they need to be. Uh, and so on and so on. And we want to write similar checks uh, to verify the different elements. This might be, uh, you know, uh, not only the buttons, but the links, uh, the drop downs, the images, and so on. For the job, um, we will use uh, the so called style tests. Uh, what are the style tests? The style tests are, let me show you. Um, Style tests are something like they use these style assertions. The assertion, the style assertion methods are basically uh, methods that check the different CSS uh, values of the element. For example, we check the background color, uh, the border color, the font family, the font weight, font size, text align, and so on. And let me quickly. Uh, show you our previous implementation uh, of the creating of the purchases. We used the adapter design pattern uh, to solve the various pauses in the test, such as, uh, for example, when you click here, there is this asynchronous request and here uh, waiting for this page to load. And then when you apply the coupon, there is this again, asynchronous requests. Uh, to solve this particular problem, instead of uh, using hard-coded pauses, we implemented the adapter design pattern. Uh, let me quickly remind you what this is. Um, first, we define this iDriver adapter interface um, that basically um, tells your driver what, instead of using directly a web driver, we use this uh, modified interface that provides new methods such as wait for Ajax. And then uh, we have the actual implementation of it. Here is the driver adapter. We implement this interface and actually wrap um, the actual web, web, iWeb driver interface. Uh, in the constructor, we pass the actual implementation, such as uh, Chrome driver. And inside it, we create uh, adapter elements. Um, and we have this here, the wait for Ajax, where we execute in a loop a particular uh, JavaScript and wait for this to return zero, which means that all of the Ajax requests uh, have finished. And um, in this pattern here, we use lazy loading, meaning that um, instead of finding the element directly, when you call create, um, we find the element um, at the moment when it's needed. For example, uh, when you perform the click, we use this uh, lazy loading here, find element, um, and we find it just for the click. Uh, when you create uh, the element adapter, the element is still not found, but uh, we are mentioning how it should be found. And what else? I think basically this is it. Um, and let's review uh, the tests. First, um, we 
we use the iDriver interface here uh, in our test class. Uh, we initialize the adapter uh, in the test initialize method where uh, in the constructor we provide the actual implementation of the driver. And when we um, execute the test cleanup, it is executed after each test, we close the browser. And I added these style assertions to the element adapter here. Uh, at the bottom, as you can see here, I added all of these methods. So um, the thing that I do is that I find the, per, the, the first add to cart button for the first rocket. And then I check whether the font size and the font weight meets the requirements. And uh, for our adapter solution, um, and in order to implement the lazy loading, uh, in the previous uh, video, we used, we created an adapter for the collection of elements that implements this I element list interface. It gives you uh, the possibility to use index. It implements I numberable, which means that you can use the collection in for each statement. And in order to make uh, even easier the usage, we have this for each method that uh, provides you with the action delegate that you can use Lambda against the different elements that I will show you in a minute. And here is the actual implementation of it. Nothing special. Uh, you can watch the previous video about the lazy loading uh, design pattern to uh, see the explanations. So uh, if we want now, to um, verify and uh, multiple elements. We navigate to the website, then we use the create elements method and provide the locator. This will return all anchors that have the inner text uh, equal to add to card. And this method will uh, you know, return, uh, as you can see here, I element list interface. Uh, for our element adapter, elements list adapter, and we'll um, you know basically provide you with um, all of the methods that I showed you before, meaning that you can use them in the for each statement. And here uh, for each button, we can call uh, a certain font size and font weight, etc. Uh, the other way you can we can do it is if we use the directly the for each method and we can use this one the e um, the e parameter here is actually equal to the each button here in in short so we have again uh, this method that's come from the element adapter but as you can see this is a little bit verbose how to write it and it, I think uh, that this may become a little bit more readable. So we can use the composite design pattern to create the version three uh, and make the usage identical. Uh, let me show you what I mean. First, we create a collection of elements. And then if we use the composite design pattern, we will have absolutely the same methods for um, when you, when you tell the framework a certain font size equal to 14 pixels, the thing that our um, element list adapter will do is inside it will for each the elements. And actually the syntax is identical to what we do for a single element. So now um, let me present to you the, adapt the composite design pattern and to show you how to achieve this syntax. Uh, let, let me show you the class diagram. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have the both interfaces of the um, I element adapter and I element list adapter and the actual implementations. This is both adapters. In test, we use actually the interfaces. And in order to achieve um, the same usage of the style assertions, we actually create uh, additional interface called iStyle Asserted Element, where we place uh, all of the 
methods, style assertion methods. And then uh, these two interfaces implement um, and inherit this common shared interface for the style assertions. And then in each separate adapter, we'll implement this. Uh, actually, um, the implementation that I previously showed you for this in the element adapter won't change. The only difference will be that we'll have to uh, implement uh, the same interface for the element list. And let me show you how this looks like. Uh, if we open here the element list, as you will see, first we implement the I element list and the I element list now inherits from the I style asserted element where we have all these style assertions. And actually in the actual implementation, the thing that we do is that we call the uh, element list for each method. And we use the same lambda, but this is hidden. And we actually use the implementation of the I element adapter instead of just copy pasting the assertions and making the for each. This is how we can achieve uh, the syntax and I believe that it's much more readable and easier to use compared to other approaches. And if you have any comments or questions, you can ask them on the automated planet forum. And for more automation about design patterns, please check the automate Thank you.